Hello, hello everybody. It is Michelle, your Top Couture Independent Designer. I want to play with this super fun transfer called Call Me Old Fashioned. This is perfect for my kitchen and we're going to make a really fun project. Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are gonna have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with a designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, hi. So what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chocology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You wanna make sure you join my Chocoholic VIP group. This is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you'll be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and let's chalk. Hello, hello everybody. Hi, Anne from a very hot North Texas. Where in Texas are you? You know, I can't say I grew up in Texas because I haven't grown up yet, but I definitely got older in Texas. <laughs> My brother still lives in Texas. Hi, Tammy. So today I wanted to play with this fun transfer and make some towels for my kitchen. Um, I will put a cart link after the video. Oh, thanks for sprinkling. I updated my sprinkle box, but it might be upstairs actually. Um, and what you're gonna need for this project to make some towels is the reusable silkscreen transfer, um, something to put them on, and then some of our couture ink, okay? Um, so these are some of the things that you're gonna need. Actually, I need to get, hold on, hold that thought. One of my, um, here's one, my ink mat. These come in a um, square or lumbar shape. You can cut them up as you want them to. But what I love about them is that these are sticky on here. So it holds whatever you are inking nice and taut. Like if you're doing a t-shirt or a pillowcase or anything like that. Um, so we'll have this here handy. Let me share my, my workspace with you so you can see this. Now this transfer has six different designs. One says, call me old fashioned. <laughs> Our house may be dirty, but so are the martinis. Allen is north of Dallas. Okay. Um, whiskey business. Please put a cork in it. <laughs> um, good drinks, good times, good friends, good life, happy hour. And then cheers, let the evening begin or begin. So this is gonna be perfect for my kitchen. I have a wine themed kitchen um, and we do love our cocktails. Um, my husband likes to make old fashioned. We do like to make some gin and tonic. So this is gonna be perfect for us. Um, and you can put this on anything. These would go great with our simple shapes that are square or circle to make a cute little home decor. This would also be super cute um, on our five by five box frames. So these can be used for many, many different things. I also think it would just be some really cute bar decor. Um, but we are gonna make some towels with it. That's what I wanted to use. And I'm just going to cut these apart so we can have them all. I have a double oven, so I always have um, four towels usually up there. 
And it's funny to see because if somebody wants to wipe their hands, um, they're kind of scared. Like, are those just for decoration or can I use them? <laughs> Sorry if I keep staring at my um, screen over here. My son is at summer camp today and he's in a teen camp. So this camp, they um, go on field trips every day of the week. And today they went to Rehoboth Beach, Beach in Delaware and their bus broke down there. <laughs> So, you know, it's not close by. So they had to send another bus out, but they're going to be coming back really late. Initially, they're going to be back at 8, but I guess it's going to be later than that. So keeping an eye out to see if I get any communication from the camp or from my son. I can't imagine with all these kids that his battery is going to even last um, that long. But I found these cute little towels at one of our home store. Um, maybe you can see... The name of it there because I can't say it out loud. Do you see that? Um, and these were three of them in a pack. So I got two so I can make each one of the designs. But I don't want to design directly on the towel because these towels are a little textured. They're very cute and I love the color. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to design on our iron on um, patches. So we're going to do that and then put the patches on um, the towels, okay? So what I'm going to do um, is put this right on here. And then I'm going to, let's do whiskey business. So I like to put a little thing on here because I can never tell what's the front and back with the new ones. And I'll write on that what it is and this one's whiskey all right and I'm just gonna peel it off I do not need to fuzz this because I want this to be sticky you get that um, because we don't want any air bubbles and I'm gonna just put it right on my patch just like this and I'm gonna smooth it on just like this and I'm gonna take it off and fix it because I'm so crooked <laughs> I guess it makes sense if it has whiskey on it that it is crooked, but let's try to fix that. And we'll do this again. Now you could get ink that is the full jar, or you could get ink that um, is in a in a ink packet, okay? One packet would do this design probably twice. Um, and then you need a little squeegee. I'm going to use a mini squeegee. You could make these as colorful as you want. I just want these to be um, in black velvet. And I'm just going to smooth the ink over here. But you do not need to fuzz if you're doing it on a textile or a fabric because you want it to be sticky. And it's not going to stretch because it'll come off easier. And I'm just going to smooth my ink all over. Remember, ink will stain, so try to be careful where you get it, okay? Whiskey business. And I'm gonna scrape off all the excess. And another thing that makes ink different is it's not going to dry while I'm working with it, okay? Um, you have to actually dry it um, mechanically for it to heat, set, and be um, cured. So we'll put that in there. Another thing is when you are inking on fabric, sometimes the fabric likes to suck up that ink. So we're just going to peel slowly and take a peek. And if we find that we need to add some more, we can. This has a very distressed look to the design, which I love. And then we're gonna peel nice and slow. You see that business part there? Oh, it's actually meant to be that way. I was like, it didn't pick it up but you can see between the N and the E, it's actually made to be distressed. So there's our whiskey business. I'm just gonna put this back on the backer sheet so I could wash it. That's the other thing. You don't wanna let your, your ink just set because if the ink goes in on that um, silk screen and you don't wash it after you use it, you're not gonna be able to chalk with this again. It's gonna be done and you'll have to buy the transfer again if you wanna design. So here is this. I'm gonna let this go. Well, we can dry it a little bit with our um, dry tool. Now, if you were following good directions, <laughs> you would let this sit for 24 hours before you press it, but we are gonna finish these tiles during this video. Then maybe we'll have a little happy hour here. <laughs> 
I can't because I have to go check out my son at who knows what time. Okay, so there's our first one, Whiskey Business. Isn't that cute? And I'll put that one aside. And then let's grab our next patch. And the next one is put a cork in it, right? Don't you want to say that sometimes when you just want to enjoy your beverage? And there's barking dogs or there's a kid that's asking you for $20 that he didn't earn. <laughs> I can't be the only one. So we'll take this and put it right on here. I love how perfect this fits on our patches. Put a cork in it. This would go perfect if you um, weren't so much into the cocktails, but you did like just wine only. Um, this would be a great little sign, especially if we're going to someone's house for a glass of wine. This would be a great little um, thanks for inviting me over gift. But put a cork in it. And we're just going to go right like that. If you have a transfer that you've been inking and you notice it's not as sticky as it was before, there's some tips that we could go over to make sure that your transfers keep the stick. One of them is when you wash it, okay, make sure that you put it upside down, sticky side up to dry. Don't help it out, just let it air dry. That preserves the stick and prevents the adhesive part to wear down, okay, by scrubbing it. You don't wanna scrub it at all. And you don't wanna use any dish soap, just nice cold water is fine, okay? And um, here we go. And if you are losing some of that adhesive, using um, a disinfectant wipe, which we all have a million of with times, right? Wipe the back of it with a disinfectant wipe and that can really um, like bring that stickiness back. Okay, now I'm just gonna go slow to make sure all of my ink went through. Please put, oh, this is gorgeous. Perfect. Now the bottom of that end, I probably could have pressed more in. Let's see. I guess I kind of took it off without looking. So I'll just put that back on. Hush. And I'll just add a little bit at the bottom there because that was soaked in. Now it's perfect. Please put a cork in it. <laughs> All right, not you guys, talk to me. And I'll put this one back on the backer sheet. This is gonna make such cute little gifts, don't you think? Especially on that five by five box frame, the double-sided one. If you needed a gift for something, you could even give this with a bottle of wine or you could, um, put one of those bottle stoppers in it. <laughs> but I mean, bottle stopper, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> All right, please put a cork in it. Kind of let that dry. We want that to dry as much as it can before we press it, just so it's not super wet. But please put a pork, pork. I must be hungry. Put a pork in it, put a cork in it. And then we'll do our next. Do you see how easy this is? And I can do one by one by one. And if you wanted to make a couple different sets, you could just press multiple of them at the same time. I like this one a lot. I can't wait to see how this one looks. You wanna definitely make sure this has a lot of screen that it is stuck to it. That. hour and then we'll get our black ink and we're just gonna go all over our reusable transfer this would actually go really cute on um, a jar with our new etching cream also if you want to make a cute little happy hour um, I have a Bartesian beverage machine. So this would be really cute on a um, big glass jar etched on it. And I could put my little, um, my little capsules of drink in there. And then people can go in there and pick their own capsule out. So that would be super cute. Right?
or if you know anybody that has like a bar in their house, it would be just really fun decor in there. There we go. Now this is a lot of screen. Hi, Deborah. I am inking these on our um, iron-on patches right now. We have them in two different sizes, these patches, and they're iron-on. So you can make towels, t-shirts, pillows, anything. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I love it. And I know that happy hour is a little hard to see there. It's the way it's designed to look very rugged, which I love. Happy hour. That would look really good in chalk. But this is ink. So um, we're doing an ink project where we're making some towels for my oven, Deborah. Um, we're using black velvet couture ink. And we are putting them on our iron-on patches. Like I said, these come in packs. Um, we have them, this is considered the large patch, and then we have a smaller patch. And we are going to iron these onto some towels that I showed to make some home decor. You could also use paste with these. Um, you, you know, our transfers can be used with our chalk paste. It could be used with our couture ink, and it could be used with etching cream. I've even seen people use burn cream, wood burning cream. But the back of the patch has a peel away backer sheet and um, you peel that away and you iron it or heat set it and it will um, melt it right onto whatever you wanna put it on, whether it's a pillow, a t-shirt, we're doing towels today, um, whatever you want that's fabric that you can iron. We're gonna do this. This one says our house may be dirty but so are the martinis. This one's definitely gonna always be on the oven. I'm just gonna make sure. Have you ever inked, Deborah? Um, because what you wanna do, it's a little different than pasting, um, but we're not fuzzing. We're putting it directly onto our patch. And then we're taking our ink, which is a little different than paste. I'm gonna write the word dirty. A little different than our paste because um, we're not fuzzing and this is going to be permanent when we're done. Like if somebody does wipe their dirty hands on my decorative towel, <laughs> I can throw these in the washing machine and they'll be just fine. It's not going to wash away. This is going to be permanent. So the ink is good for fabrics. The ink is good for anything that you could either bake or you can iron. So a coffee mug, um, a glass, a pitcher, um, what else? Mm, a wine glass, a coffee mug, anything that you can bake in the oven or iron, like a towel, a t-shirt, a tote bag. Some of those tote bags, um, you don't want the whole thing with a huge design on it, but you may want to add a little pizzazz to it. So it'd be really cute to um, add these patches. No, waiting for it to arrive. Uh, oh, yay. Good for you. And then I'm going to... Go nice and slow because sometimes the fabric does like to soak up that ink. Oh, that's beautiful. This turned out perfect. Um, did you get that new starter kit that has the letter board? Does that come with ink in it? I don't know if that starter kit came with ink. You'll have to let me know. I don't remember. your designer, Deborah? Who is your designer? All right, just two more to go. See how fast and easy this is? Mm -hmm. I like this one a lot. That might be my favorite one. Like the adhesive mat is keeping that backer sheet. So we'll peel that up. 
I did get one of the ink. Kathy Riddle. I don't know if I know Kathy Riddle. Okay, I'm going to put this one down. This one says, cheers, let the evening begin or begin. <laughs> clever, clever. I just like the word cheers too. I like the font. So we'll put this one on here. Now you could use just a regular household iron. That has like a distress thing right in that H. A household iron, a heat press, or a clamshell press, whatever you have that can apply heat. Gin. And then make sure there's no bubbles. Remember, bubble is trouble. And we will ink this. I know a lot of the new releases were Halloween and Christmas, which our full Christmas launch will come out in September. Um, so this is just one of the things are not um, holiday inspired. This is every day. Oh, I know you did, Deborah. I just wasn't sure who, who you signed with, but Chocotour is so much fun. So you are going to love all of it. There was a rule. I think it's still there. So don't tell... Kathy or anybody else, but we're not supposed to have designers in our VIP group. So you are not supposed to be in my VIP group at all. That's a no, no. <laughs> Don't you tell anybody. <laughs> okay. I'll have to kick you out. I mean, I didn't know that you were a designer at the time. So that's my excuse. All right. There's that little star. We'll get that. You want to make sure that your hands are clean. Cause like that, if I get a bunch of ink on my fingers, it's going to stain that um, patch when I touch it. So let me just wash my hands. I usually keep a disinfectant wipe ready at all times when I'm inking, but obviously I have been slacking on that. Oh, wow. I am in several. Yeah, it's actually a chocotour rule because just like the sale I just had, Deborah, there are some designers that um, don't like that because they feel like we're taking business away from them. Um, so a lot of people get really angry that they think their customers will leave them and shop our sale and we would steal them because we're having a sale. So they made a rule then that no designers can be in any one so that you can't see what we're doing and you can't complain. <laughs> But my response to that is grow up. That's like Walmart being like, well, how dare Target put that on sale? That's not fair. People are going to go to there instead of here. It's just stop it. I mean, I don't buy all my lipsticks in one place, right? I like MAC. I like Senegence. I like um, Hourglass. Those are the three that I buy. <laughs> but I would never feel like I could only get from MAC and nobody else. I think I have a couple different mascaras and they're all from a different company. So there's enough room for all of us to have fun and play, you know? Okay. Isn't that great? Now we just have one left and then we're going to put these together. And this one says, call me old fashioned. And my husband loves to make old fashions. And then I'm just going to smooth this down so there's no air bubble. Absolutely, as a beginner. Yes, I get that. There's also a lot of um, groups for designers, too, to get good inspiration. I don't know who, um, um, what'd you say, Kathy? 
who Kathy's upline is and if they have really good groups. But I got lucky enough that I'm in such a great um, upline that uh, they have good videos that we can use. I'm just going to smooth this over here. This old fashioned. There we go. I got more on my finger. <laughs> okay. Now let's peel this slowly. That's really fine to make sure it made its way through that silk screen. And it did. It looks great. On the old fashioned. All right. So that's how easy it was. And we just made. We just made six patches. Now, of course, if you're much more adventurous than I am, you could have done these in a million different colors, but I don't have a colorful kitchen. <laughs> I do have some huge wine paintings on both sides of my pantry. That's about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close up my paste so that I don't get that on anything because this will stain. And you wanna make sure that the one you're using, if you're using fabric, is ink. Now you could always chalk on the patches, that's fine. Just know that you could mess it up um, if you get it wet and you can't wash them. So these I wanna make sure I can wash, all right? Um, I'm just gonna grab some parchment paper and put it over here. Do you guys remember which one we did first? I think we did whiskey business first. And you'll see on the patches um, that without ironing it on, it's gonna be a little tacky, okay? You might feel a little tackiness, but that goes away once we heat set it. So I'm gonna put this here and let's grab our first towel. Um, if you weren't here in the beginning, I have two packs of these Time and Sage three towels. I got it from this discount shop right here. Um, it was $8.99 for three. And then what I like to do is I'll take one and I'll kind of fold them in like this and fold it down like this to kind of give me this look, okay? And I'm just gonna take my Cricut press. I do have a clamshell press. I'm just gonna iron it so that um, any moisture comes out of it so that the patch can adhere to it really good. Now, if you don't have a Cricut press or you don't have a clamshell press, um, that's fine. You could use just an old fashioned iron, okay? And in that iron, you will set it to the temperature of your towel. Well, that made it really hot. Let's do more um, while we're talking. Set it to the temperature of whatever you're ironing, and then you're gonna iron it on um, four minutes on both sides. Like this. Oh, I like this towel. I do like this towel just like this. And I'm just pressing it so that it keeps the shape that I that I put it on. And if you're using a cooker press, I always do mine at 310 um, and usually for 30 seconds on both sides. I have been known to do like 325 also. One, two. And this way I have six. I'm only going to hang four at a time, but if someone does wipe their hands, I can have some in the wash and still have the look that I'm looking for on my oven. I have a double oven um, that has a bar in each one. Just like this. So I'm just pressing these so that we can put our patches on. Perfect. And then I'm gonna have to open this one to 
I love looking in these discount home stores for their towels because with these patches, you can change your towels out for every season with any of the transfers that you like with the ink. It's so much fun. Um, you can save them year to year. I like to change mine so much that I will say I'm guilty. I do a lot of donation to Purple Heart and they do get all my towels. Because um, if I didn't, I would probably have 300 sets of kitchen towels, which is not bad. <laughs> but I do think that um, other people would love to have them. And I can just imagine somebody getting a kick out of that that could not necessarily make it or afford things on their own. Um, shopping makes me happy, so why not find really good things for a discount too? Let's see. I'm going to just go like this. But getting the moisture out really does help, even though we're not um, inking directly on these towels. I could have if I wanted to. I just love the look of the patches. I think it makes it look um, really nice. And I love putting patches on pillows. <laughs> you guys have probably seen that many times, but I will ink a pillow and then put a patch with a design on that. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can always refold it and iron. I just wanna get these ready for the patches. I'm so happy I got on. I did not realize you could do this. Yes! I mean, really, um, Chalk Couture, the possibilities are forever endless. Mm. High-end home decor is where it started. That side's more wrinkled than this side. But I'm glad you're joining us. Okay. So now we've pressed. Aren't these pretty colors? These are my, my colors. <laughs> okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is I have this parchment paper. It's a little big. I'm going to cut it. Ooh, look at that. I got some ink on it. Good thing I didn't put that on anything. All right, so I have my towel. Did you say you get the patches? Yes, Chalk Couture has the patches in two sizes. This is the large, um, and then we also have a small. All right. So let me kind of go like this. I didn't really fold this one very good. Hold on. We will fold you there. Fold you there. That's better. That's better. And then you want to kind of tell how far from the bottom you want to go. And if you're like me and you have no sense of distance, you can always use your placement tape from Chalk Couture. And I'll put this down there. And then we may just say one, two, three, four. The fourth line on these. We'll do that. The fourth line. Just like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel off the backer and I'm gonna use these lines, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna use that line as my um, measurement, just like that. Hopefully it folded behind is not gonna make a difference. And I'm gonna put the parchment paper on um, I have my timer set for 30 seconds, and we're going to press this side for 30 seconds. Oh, I can't wait to put these on the oven. <laughs> now, this is something I would have paid good money for, to have six themed, amazing, beautiful towels that match my decor. Yes. Wouldn't these be so cute rolled up in a basket with like a bottle of whiskey or a bottle of wine or even just um, like a old fashioned glass or maybe a martini mix. Okay, so now look at this. I only did the front side, but the patch is not lifting off. 
this is now one <laughs> with that. So then I'll put my parchment paper down. I need to move this dish because it has ink in it. Let me go this way. We'll go this way. All right, so I'm gonna put it this way. And while this presses for 30 seconds, I'm gonna remove my tray that has the ink squeegee so I don't get it on anything. Thirty seconds. Maybe I missed you saying, but where did you get the towels from? I'm not allowed to say out loud, but what I do with what did I do with? Oh, I threw it into the trash. Hold on, I can show you the um, the tag, or if somebody wants to type it in. Here we go. If somebody wants to type it in, they can. But here, for some, it's a rule. I can't say it out loud. But can you see that? That's where I got them from. All right, so now here is our first towel that is done. And look, my patch is completely on here. I cannot take it off. It is permanently on there and the ink is set. And I could put this in the dish in the dishwasher. <laughs> That's something new. Um, I can put this on in the washing machine. Look at that. So this is gonna hang right on there. Look at that whiskey business. So we'll put this one aside and we're going to keep on going. If I'm boring you, you don't have to stay, but I will show them all when I'm done. And I'll also post a picture. Um, oh my gosh, I can't wait to make some. Aren't they cute? I mean, think about all the Halloween towels you can make with the new release, the Christmas towels you can make. You could put these in your bathroom. You could decorate anything. All right. So what did we do? Number four. Let's put this around number four. I have to straighten it out a little bit. Please put a cork in it. Parchment paper. This prevents, um, if any ink is still wet, from it getting onto your um, iron. And then we'll just press that. Now remember, if you're using your old fashioned, um, old fashioned, <laughs> if you're using your old fashioned iron, it's four minutes on both sides. I want to stay, but Brian just got home. Oh, go enjoy your dinner, Teresa. You'll see the photo. Where are you going? Are you going somewhere good? <sighs> I should really talk my husband into going out to dinner, but we ate out twice this week, and we never eat out. We um, cook like seven days a week, but I've already used up my dine outs, I think. <laughs> Please put a cork in it. This is cute, huh? Look at that. Oh, that is sublimation. So you see how my press pad, something bled through because I didn't use parchment paper, but that was not inking. That was sublimation. I was making a tote bag with sublimation. And then we'll go here. 310. Arugas. Oh, I've seen the sign for that. I've never been. Don't they have like really good chicken wings? Is that what I saw? Chicken wings? Tell Brian to simmer down. I'm just kidding. Enjoy. Um... Teresa, though, is a very cook, good cook herself, so I bet she's making something good this weekend. But this is so fast, isn't it? We are almost done number two. There we go. And then we will kind of fold it like that. And we will fold it like that. And fold it like that. And look at that, we have our, oh, I messed up the fold. Please put a cork in it towel. I love that color. Okay. Then we'll go, we're just gonna keep on trucking along. This one could be our happy hour. Just remember that you peel off that backer. And we'll put this one right here. Oh, that looks really good with that color, doesn't it? Just like this. We are almost halfway done just by finishing them. They look so good. I just messed up the fold of this one. There. I'll have to refold them upstairs to make sure that they're spaced better. We'll put 
these. Oh, I love it. I even love the smell of the ink <laughs> when it goes through like that. Maybe I can keep it like this. Yeah, we can do that. I go like this. Mm. You don't have to have one transfer that fits perfectly on the patch. You could use bits and pieces of a transfer. Um, I'm trying to think if I have an example. But it would be so cute. Can you imagine how cute this transfer would be on towels with all those bony animals? Oh, that would be so cute. That would be so cute. Ooh, I think I just came up with an idea for my Halloween ones. I like how it says bad to the bone. Okay. So here is our happy hour towel. I love it. So we have three done. Let me put you guys right there. And then... Oh, this one, I already took off the backer. Cheers, let the evening be gin. This one here I think would be really cute for a t-shirt too. Just a cute little call me old fashioned. <laughs> Doesn't even have to be alcohol related, does it? Oh, these are great. So yeah, the whole patch is just permanently on there and it just gives that that added look now I'm not saying it'll look bad if you chalk directly on the towel it probably would look good this just gives that extra dimension that extra oomph that I like to do and you know because this towel is very textured if I was to ink directly on the towel it probably wouldn't come out as precise as it does with the patch um, and sometimes when you look at the towels in the home store, there is a busy pattern over the entire thing. Um, I do have a set of napkins over here that I got there as well. Um, these are eight napkins, so they would have a little design that's at the napkin. I wouldn't do, um, a big patch like this on the napkin, but our smaller patch should be perfect for these. And I think I want to make Thanksgiving napkins on these for Thanksgiving but use a small patch and little false sayings. Or we had, did you guys see the new release catalog? We have a transfer that is a bunch of different leaves and I thought they would be super cute um, to put on the small patch. Look at this, beautiful. Um, that would be a really cute fall um, napkin at the table with just a little leaf or something like that. This one says, our house may be dirty, but so are the martinis. It has a little thread on there that we'll cut. Do you guys hear my little puppy up there acting all big and bad and barking? I put him in his room so he had to behave and he hears me talking. So he's like trying to say, would you hurry it up? Fall leaves, I got one. Yeah, so that would be perfect. While this one is pressing, let me go grab one of our smaller patches and I'll show you that size. Do I have a smaller patch? Hold on. Um, I may have used all of my smaller patches up. Let me see. Let me see. No, I may have. Uh, here we go. Let me show you the small ones as we press this. So this is the small patch. So we have, um, I just ordered the fall leaves one too after the launch. So because I came up with this idea on the napkin, but these are the same idea. You get three in a pack, but look at this. They're this size. So wouldn't it be cute if this was the napkin 
And you could either put one of these on there at the table with your silverware. You could either wrap something around and put your silverware in there or put a patch on here. Or I was thinking if I did it this way and put a leaf on here and they could be different leaf designs because that transfer has a bunch of different leaves on it um, or different colors and fall. So that would be perfect for Thanksgiving table. Oh, this is perfect, look at that. And you'll see um, the ink really does just melt into the patch. So there's nothing that's lifted. Um, it looks like it was there the whole time. Here's the last one. But yes, I thought that patch would be perfect for those leaves. And you would have the cutest, um, cutest little napkins. And this is a pack of eight. And look at the price from this store. See, that store is a little different. But eight napkins for that price, and I can design them all, that's worth it. I don't even know if you can get a pack of disposable ones anymore um, that are nice for that price. Here's the last one and then I'll show them to you and then I'll go stick them on my oven and take a photo. I just picked up a bee with my foot. <laughs> I have transfers everywhere down here. Those little patches are also good for hats. Um, but I, I do definitely like those for little tote bags, um, little gift bags, um, anything you can put that on. Okay, we'll turn our heat press off. So again, all you really need for this project, and I'll post a cart link. So even you, Deborah, if you wanted to make a cart link, um, if you were to, hi Jen, if you were to use my cart link that pops up on the page, if you log in as your designer, you can it'll still go in your cart and you can see what I used and you can see your designer price, okay? So yes, Jen, we made some towels. I used the Call Me Old Fashioned Transfer and we made six towels for my oven. Um, here's one of them, Call Me Old Fashioned. Oh my God, I love this. Uh, our house may be dirty, but so are the martinis. <laughs> These are great. Um, cheers, let the evening begin, begin. So yeah, I'm going to put that in the description of this video. Once um, I'm done, I'm going to create the cart link and put it in there. So anybody that wants to make their own towels, happy hour, make their own towels, can just click on that, whether they're a customer or designer, and it would take them to a cart where maybe you already have patches. You don't need patches. You can delete the patches off your cart. Um, maybe you already have ink. You can delete the ink out of the cart um, and all of that. Whiskey business. Isn't it good for gifts, Jen? That's what I was saying earlier in the video. Here's one of my favorite ones. Put a cork in it and I'll make them look nicer and put them on the oven. Um, but yes, you can see here, these patches are on here. These patches are permanent. They're not coming off. They are permanent on here. And these can go in the washing machine with, with the ink that we did. Aren't they cute? So all of these towels here, I have all six beautiful colors. Just the cutest little set, right? Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm going to go and hang these up. I'm so excited. The hardest part for me is going to be picking which four to hang up because I can fit four, two and two on the double oven. Um, so which two am I going to keep as replacements if they get dirty? I don't know because they're all so cute. I guess I'm going to have to play with the colors because I don't want um, them all to be that. Well, I guess there's three. There's one. There's two of each color. I don't know. They're so cute. I have patches, haven't used them yet. I need that transfer, yes. And I was even saying, Jen, that I would love to make um, the towels with this transfer, Halloween. So I would want something that was like spooky. You know, they have a lot that the whole um, towel is patterned. It could be spooky and you could put this on a patch and 
I just love it. Bad to the bone. And like, this is great for the kitchen. It says bone jewelry. And then you have all of these on there. So these are going to be super, super cute. And I was also saying, Jen, that I got these napkins from a different store like this. Um, and we could use our smaller patches on here and either put them this way or put them this way. And our brand new um, fall leaf pattern, these would make the cutest napkins um, for your Thanksgiving setting. Um, don't kick me off. <laughs> Deborah. Um, towels are so over. I know, Jen, right? I change my towels all the time, all the time. Um, not my cleaning towels. I am very particular about my cleaning towels, but my decorative towels, um, and they even, if, I mean, this was only, what, $8.99 for three at the store I told you guys. They even have cute towels at the store where everything's $1.25. So don't, don't even write them off. Go check out the store because even if you don't have the best towel, it's decoration. And when you add your patch with your flair and your design on that $1.25 towel, it's going to look like a million bucks, right? Okay. Ah, let me go put these on the oven. I'm so excited. I'm going to add a cart link once I get upstairs. I might even have a cocktail with this. I don't even know. It might get wild on this Friday night. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow.